see it kick in there we are hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to another live stream today is february 15th 2020 and we're doing a, doing a live stream on life planning and taking calculated risks and uh, i sort of put an extension there personal finance economics and more because uh, basically this stream came about through a sort of a recommendation uh, that we got from discord um, someone posted the following uh, request sort of um, let me read it to you so that way those of you who are watching uh, later on another platform when we load it up uh, you'll know what gave birth to this live stream and I've taken some notes here that we might go through um, but basically uh, the request was this the comment was this hey Chicho uh, quote so is it possible we could do a weekend we uh, let me read that again so quote uh, so is it possible we could do a weekend stream on life planning and taking calculated risks I only ask because I've been contemplating moving for a while now I've lived in the same state all my life in the US and I'm so ready for a change, but I really want to move out of country. On the less drastic end, I could move to Canada, which is close by my home state. On the drastic end, I'm thinking somewhere overseas in Europe, Asia, or South America. I'm just so mixed up with what to do and whether or not I should take the leap now while I'm young. So stream themed around life planning, calculated risks uh, could help a lot of people with uh, lots of issues, I think. And my reply was done deal. And this is the reason uh, sort of why we're doing this stream or this is uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, this was the catalyst that gave birth to this uh, stream or this topic anyway okay and thank you for the request by the way Kojo, uh, coolio okay uh, aside from that uh, i'm just going to check out the chat we're going to wait for people to show up captain hawk how are you doing hope all is well hey there thanks again for doing this stream coolio you're very welcome. I just read your comment, by the way, on Discord. Uh, and it's a good stream, actually. It really links up to everything we've been doing. Politics, as well as economics, as well as everything else. Maybe it be food-related, lifestyle-related, everything, right? Dolphin, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, what's been happening? Uh, just following lots of news and doing a lot of work in the back end. Uh, putting out... Uh, I, I actually edited a video uh, last couple of days yesterday and today I shot it yesterday started editing yesterday finished it off today and I already have it loaded up on BitChute and YouTube I'm just going to release them tomorrow so there's a video coming out tomorrow okay the topic sounds really interesting yeah Captain Hawk it's and I made uh, you know I made some notes uh, Coolio after you posted this question after I set the stream time I sort of went through and uh, for a two hour walk and I thought about the stream and some of the things I had to consider um, when I've moved from different cities I've lived in a few different cities and um, have I lived outside of Canada for short periods I have for a few weeks a couple of months two to three months like not long right most of my uh, moving has been internal in my personal choice right aside from that we did move here from another country we came here from Iran when I was a child as a family and there were things that I learned through that move as well right and I made some notes on you know some of the things you might need to consider good evening Chicho fast car how are you doing how are you doing while we wait for people uh, to pop onto the chat I know the what do you call it uh, the notification sometimes doesn't go out for like 10 minutes or so we found that out last uh, last stream let me show you what I got for drinks I got my tea I got water my tea and water trust the tea and water right tea 
water, and I got, uh, check this out, apples and peanut butter. Right? Take apple wedges and dip them in peanut butter, like dip. Like here. You take this and dip it in. This is smooth peanut butter, but it tastes fantastic. Peanut butter is dry and uh, apples nice and juicy. So Coolio, uh, the person who posted this request, the comment that I read, uh, quote, yeah, I'm trying to get as much input as I can from as many people, as many different people as I can. And I can tell from your other video streams, you're wise. Well, thanks, Coolio. Thanks for the recommendation. I've made my share of mistakes just like anyone, right? And my share of good choices and my share of phenomenal life decisions and accidents that have come my way right doing good fast car says brother left work early this morning because i wasn't feeling well but feeling much better now awesome good stuff fast car take care of your health man take care of yourself there's nasty flu around going around and not cv uh, other flus as well fatal ask oh, fiat fantalasco fiat how are you doing i assume you had dual citizenship for a while then uh, we had landed immigrant uh, i don't believe i'm uh, I'm, a, I'm a dual citizen i'm just a citizen of canada i think uh, i don't think iran accepts dual citizenship or gave it up or something i i don't know tell you the truth I don't i i'm settled here i'm not moving anywhere not by personal choice right trust sweet tea with high corn syrup and carbonized water <laughs> no <laughs> that's the worst <laughs> oh i might do the apple peanut butter then that ah, coolio is fantastic highly recommend very delicious and almond butter and cashew butter they all taste good right almond butter is better than cashew butter with peanut butter or with um, apple i'm awake and alert martin how are you doing you're alert you just finished work 4 30 a.m uk time you've taken care of all the paperwork wow that's a great idea in breaking out the peanut butter now <laughs> awesome lima <laughs> it's really delicious lonely piggy how are you doing hey chicho hope all is well as always uh, doing well lonely piggy thank you very much were you ever heavy into traveling at any point in your life yeah coolio for sure yeah i did trucking around and stuff and i was lucky i got into a career uh, as a geophysicist where i flew around all over canada like west coast east coast north south like everywhere right uh it was fantastic and just to let you know for me i've lived in uh, Vancouver, Victoria, Calgary, Toronto, and Montreal for extended periods, right? So that's my experience of adulthood, adulthood moving somewhere. And I've stayed in certain cities for like two to two weeks to a month or so. But that's traveling, that's tourism, it's different, right? Were you ever uh, green butter? with crunchy peanut butter is bomb green butter oh green butter <laughs> finished 2.5 hours ago two two and a half hours ago i i love all nut butters yeah nut butters are really good really good so let's check it out how long have we been going for we've been going for about nine minutes should i give you a rundown of what i wrote down green apple <laughs> i was thinking you're saying something else fiat the other stuff not that either right green butter <laughs> green butter on toast and peanut butter been thinking of getting 10 percent of my annual revenue in google bullion your thoughts getting it or converting it
converting is a different game than being paid out in gold bullion right uh, converting different game uh, if you're being paid 10 percent in uh, in gold then there's no transaction fees there is no per you know some places have a record of where the gold is going right so there's no record of that and stuff <coughs> so it's a different game get it in stocks <laughs> no definitely don't get it in stocks <laughs> if you share two percent of that gold with me that'd be great coolio says so let me read let me read you the comment that kicked up this live stream and then what i'm going to do i'm going to read you some of the points i broke this up into two parts one of them the things you think about first and the next one is some of the things you have to think about when you're doing a movie get it in blockbuster stock or radio Shack stock <laughs> wait is canada currency backed by gold no as far as i know the only currency that was going to be backed by gold was uh, what libya proposed with an african currency but we know where that went right uh, some countries would not appreciate uh, currencies backed in something tangible other than goodwill or not even goodwill a promissory note do you ever do guided meditation i've we will at some point yeah uh, we will at some point but i don't know if you'll be guided it'll mo most it'll just be me doing what i'm doing for meditation and i'm just going to live stream it and you guys can do whatever you want to do for your meditation it doesn't make a difference right i still have my blockbuster membership card radio shack was a good story we still have radio shack here do we have radio shack no it's called the source here now it's not radio shack that became bad I only use Waba and how are you doing? Use a currency backed by oil barrel from our benevolent supreme leader, the excellent Maduro. Or the US US dollar, right? Um, because that's backed by Saudi oil. The gold standard is ideal in theory, though hardly feasible nowadays, especially here in the US. Yeah, I don't I'm not a proponent of gold back back currency. Don't get me wrong. Uh, for not because it's not a tangible asset it's not good or anything like this but because the value of gold will continue to go up right rise right and then we'll see people trying to extract gold out of mountains right oh they already do that but little bits of gold out of mountains right so environmentally it will be completely devastating the destruction right uh, so we have to go towards a different type of system right stream lagged uh, lagged out for me but uh, w what were your thoughts on uh, converting to gold oh we just <laughs> uh, watch the replay of the stream okay I still have some uh, uh, DVDs from blockbusters yeah teach us meditation I don't know if I could teach you I'll share with you what I do or what I have done in the past and what I what I'm gonna start introducing again right Martin <laughs> same with the DVDs from Blockbuster. I knew I knew someone who before blockbusters went under they went there and rent rented their maximum allowed games that they could rent out and they got like a whole bunch of games when I found out they were going bankrupt I just kept them yeah that's what he did we're criminals hey chicho saucy rossi how are you doing what do you think of the fake meat chicho i'm, I'm not a fan of it's industrial south park did a fantastic episode on it right like in terms of becoming a real replacement for real meat um no just eat natural beans and whatever that people eat why do people have it have to have it meat flavored right that's just if you don't want to eat meat just don't eat meat right what are your thoughts on asteroids or interplanetary mining uh, uh, the future of humanity is space like that's it 
like we have to go there somewhere at some point right like there there is no choice really and we will go there that's my take Uh, if we expect the future price of gold to go up, does the demand go up or down right now in the present? Uh, the, the price of gold will continue to go up and the demand for gold will continue to go up. That's, uh, that's a no-brainer uh, to a certain degree. Unless we have mass depopulation, then the price of everything drops. All the gold and precious metals we could ever want in the in the Cooper belt ready to be mined. Yeah, I have seven. Seven DVDs. I have a few more than that. <laughs> Not blockbuster, but different styles. I'm so impressed. You put so much thought into my little question. You have a whole clipboard of notes. I see. Yeah, Coolio. Yeah. As soon as I get caught up with the thing, uh, with the chat, we'll do we'll go through this okay uh just want to make sure we take care of uh see how we can incorporate everything together right laugh out loud if i if it advanced to the point of having a similar nutritional value as real meat artificial replacement could be great could be uh, i don't think we're there or we'll get there anytime soon i got five dvds from blockbusters but we're ways off from that join the conversation i'm eating bacon as we speak Martin. <laughs> when we get to mars gold we'll tank down due to some new metals i doubt it but don't you think if we <coughs> if we made our food production system more efficient in terms of the environment and volume output we'd be able to sustain folks here on earth until we're able to get the tech to live on uranus or anywhere else uh wabin um are we improving the quality of nutrients and food and stuff that we're getting from these this industrial food production i think we have to get away from industrial food production and go more local organic and garden style that will sustain industrial food production it will be a few orders of magnitude more than what we have now uh, or the direction that it's going because we've seen what a giant agribusiness does uh, right it's run by wall street it's, it's basically our run by our current economic system so anything that's coupled with that is not going to be our savior in terms of the environment and health and stuff space will never happen for humanity they can't even leave earth orbit right now they apparently lost all the plans or algorithms or whatever uh, that they had to get to the moon if that was even real uh, i doubt it uh, i'm pretty sure we have the technology spacex will be taking people on flybys to the moon within two years yeah it's yeah the, the technology is there who told you that <laughs> we sent graph into space for that well, look at exactly china currently has a rover on the moon the thing i've read is that the cattle and what not take up a lot more geographical space than i grow up uh, cattle yeah eating beef is not efficient right lamb is way more efficient small and we don't need quantity of meat it's the way of consumption right it's it's all based on our current economic system right consume 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 gluttony gluttony, gluttony, gluttony. and then agribusiness fill, fill that gluttony 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 push one type of product that it subsidies up the yin yang monopolies right uh destroying disruptive innovation uh putting on barriers regulation to prevent uh, you know new industries are popping up it's not just the simple solution of everybody eat veggies it's not going to work right that's just propaganda so they tell you spacex first manned flights to iss are happening this year and nasa is planning on going back to the moon by 2024 yeah you're woefully 
miseducated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wayfaring soul. <laughs> okay, Wayfaring soul. I'm going to time you out. We don't call our friends here meat products. <laughs> Too funny, too funny. You're making a as like that. Yeah, I think he's just trolling. But at least he's a better troll than some of the other ones. Still pretty weak, but it's okay. It's not bad. It was fun. We had a little laugh. Do you ever get sad thinking about missing out on the technology and civilizations that will come after we uh, we die? I do. No, no. Dark Tokyo. No, I don't. I'm overwhelmed by what we have now. <laughs> it's amazing, right? I have no desire to interact with a hologram. I can imagine it, envision it. In my dreams, I do. You know, the dreaming state, that it, no matter what technology we get, right, it won't even be compatible or comparable to what you can achieve in your dreams, right? Or what you experience during dream time REM sleep and stuff right so it's pretty important like that's why sleep is so important in our lives because it it not only allows our minds to grow and expand and and imagine right it also um, helps in problem solving right a lot of people have found a lot of solutions to a lot of problems that they've been that have that have they've been thinking about for if not days or weeks months years in their dreams where they wake up they have the answer and they jot down the the information and wow right so no i i don't i'm not envious of future societies regarding their gender um technology that they may have ignorance is bliss for people who like to deny reality yeah me too but we are very far off from successfully colonizing any planet. Agreed, Wobbin. Yeah. Wait, the Earth is flat. What are you? <laughs> the space isn't real. <laughs> Man, can you send me some money? For... Dude, what do we got here? Usual, usually, yes. Beat me to it, Martin. You sound Canadian. I am Canadian. The thing Aaron L Elon Musk is doing that's a good approach is working to make it cheaper. Very important. Very important. Right? Skin in the game. I was just gonna let him keep going for, uh, for a bit. It was pretty funny, Fascar. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you were here, Fascar. And Martin, right? I just timed out. I'm, I've been uh, because uh, we've we've done some streams where I've been the only person there wasn't any mods here so and i couldn't deal with it right like i have no time to monitor so i just timed out right away sorry dude <laughs> whoever you were <laughs> that i timed out <laughs> swords at the ready only if you don't so. dreams are very powerful dreams are very powerful yeah i once figured out what kind of hairstyle i wanted from a dream yeah yeah should we should we should i go through this I'll, I'll keep an eye on the chat we have mods here uh, but i just want to it's more questions that i have proposed here right but then i forgot it was a blurry image yeah you have to write it down wobbit have a have a paper and pencil pen beside your bed right and preferably bigger pieces of paper big and preferably like a blank notebook right because when you wake up in the middle of the night from a dream and you go oh my god i got it you don't want to turn on the lights open up your book to a place always keep it on a, a space where it's blank right and write down what you need to write down and you're you're going to be writing in the dark just learn how to write in the dark you're going to write big it's going to be messy it's not going to be you know it's not ideal as soon as you've done your initial purging right think about what you just wrote down and then you can turn on a nice gentle light in your room make sure you have a gentle light there and if you need to write more write more if not go back to sleep right you don't need to turn on the lights 
if you're happy with what you wrote down Chicho, did you see the article on popular mechanics website from today discussing aliens and ufos no no saucy i don't really go to popular mechanics very much from what i understand a few years ago rupert murdoch bought it out right so uh you know i, I usually any of the main things i i don't go to them directly i go to forums i go to feeds i go to individual people who are sharing information that aren't representing an institution right i don't want my information filtered right martin you don't dream if you smoke cannabis stop smoking cannabis uh, if you want to amplify your dreams i've heard salvia divinorum tea is a good way to go lucid dreaming is very interesting to me for that reason yeah darth dart hooky agreed and divining in your sleep i write down my more bizarre dreams yeah i have to get better at getting uh rem sleep i haven't remembered my dreams in a while i did that for uh, some time now but whenever i woke up the paper had thank chris nailing healing <laughs> i remember my dreams every time i wake up Nice. the last time i consistently remember my dreams was a two-month period following my last breakup pretty painful dreams i just I, since this is coming up cannabis suppresses dreams if you want to dream again stop cannabis certain other herbs amplify your dreams food affects your dreams so read up on the types of food you might be consuming if you want to kick up your dreams eat those foods if you want to suppress your dreams eat the other foods it's diet <laughs> in a big way and once you figure that part out that's the hard part that's the one that really matters the most right or the first one one of the first ones and then start if you want to increase your dreams meditating right meditating before sleep meditating after you wake up that you figure out your own cycle when is a good time for you to meditate another thing you could do is do not watch a computer screen before you go to sleep do not play a video game and then go to sleep right away have at least an hour preferably two hours away from the screen before you go to sleep and that will make your dreams less scattered more coherent and you'll find out that you might begin dreaming the same story multiple nights in a row it, your dreams will continue right and meditation helps in this and diet helps in this in a big way just from my experience right right mr hezekiah weed suppresses dreams big time big time very clear memories of fee dreams from when i was young yeah same here fast car aside from that i rarely remember okay i'm missing some chat so i'm gonna scroll down a little bit okay Ta -ta. though my diet is bad so that's pretty a uh, part of it i've never smoked cannabis also avoid milk like the play <laughs> yeah martin i know someone that doesn't eat cheese because they get nightmares when they eat cheese i love cheese lima 700 on medical cannabis to suppress my insomnia but i miss dreaming so bad yeah and it's a balance it's a balance if you app kick up your dreams sometimes your dream state when you wake up you actually feel a little tired uh, because you've been living another life for anywhere between four to ten hours right like you've been experiencing so much it does rejuvenate for sure but you also feel like you've accomplished a lot even though you were dreaming right so it's a fine balance uh, with your diet try introducing dreams again with diet uh, it, I, I don't want to go too deep into it because it varies we'll, maybe we'll do a live stream on it specifically do not watch a computer screen before you go to sleep says chicho while he streams at midnight <laughs> sorry pascar <laughs> sickle tosla causes very vivid dreams cyclitium tortosurum 
I don't know what that is. I hope I didn't read anything bad. My dreams, I remember. Sometimes around age eight, I woke up and went to bathroom. That was the dream. I woke up to my mom screaming because I was being on her feet. Blam 16. Blam 16. That's funny. That's funny. I remember, I remember some of my dreams when I was really young. Anyone have a dream of a... Uh, cactus tree not a cactus uh christmas tree pine tree falling on them honestly since i started using asmr back in 2010 or somewhere around that i haven't even had insomnia or issues sleeping yeah have music calming music there was a period in my life where i had dijon gasperian armenian tutak flute playing when i went to sleep wow what an amazing headspace to be in to go to sleep to right uh, sometimes i listen to lectures for extended periods of time and i go to sleep that way asmr in a big way right trip trip uh tryptophan is the sleep drug tryptophan like i don't get people that use asmr but still have insomnia it's obviously not working for them uh, or switch up the type of asmr right there's a whole bunch of different types of asmr found in milk and lamb trip to me lamb lamb mm, cheese mm. yeah it's midnight in my time zone too but worth it nice i'm glad coolio i remember you said you saw a uh, striper once i saw striper twice <laughs> Chicho at my local record store. I got an original vinyl coffee of To Hell with the Devil, the one with the original uncensored cover. Nice, nice. I went to that uh, um, tour. <laughs> I've tapped into it. How much did it go for, by the way, Fast Car? I've tapped into ancestral memories. I have very terrifying dreams of hiding under bushes while Tyrannosaurus rex stalks, stalks me have you ever had a recurring dream or a sequent dream yeah for sure coolio yeah it was still factory sealed from 1986 wow you sound like you like yanni no no even though i've seen yanni <laughs> in san francisco at, a, at an open open uh, open uh, stadium amphitheater eating ice cream <laughs> and the person that took me to it family member a very loved family member turned to me and goes i'm sorry <laughs> the concert. i go it's okay we're outside eating ice cream listening to yanni <laughs> all good i've also had dreams where i die in a battle and have uh I have to keep uh, resurrecting and dying in different uh, methods before escaping. That sounds like Hollywood movies. Some ASMR is definitely for that. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I love, love ambient music for sleeping. Yeah, Brian Eno is very good. Is my sleep. Con oh, another person that I listen to that I've fallen asleep to when I was younger a lot, a lot. It was my introduction to electronic music. And we're talking in the, in the late 70s and early 80s tomita okay japanese music producer tomita seeing striper two times uh, two times is too many times i'm gonna allow that i don't know why automod zapped that mr hezekiah i paid 30 dollars for it. you paid 30 pretty good price for that cover and that condition yeah 30 dollars sounds really good man was that your fast car yep nice he kept pushing the line more and more nice thanks fast car can dream improve my learning 100 percent fino i knew someone that did dream study they would read they would open up a textbook and read a chapter into a microphone into a tape recorder back in back in the day into a tape recorder and at nighttime they would play it press play and go to sleep they did quite well in school I could never sleep to music. Oh, Wabin, try Dejan Gasperian, Armenian Tutak music, flute. 
is two tones. There's one, there's two flutes. One of them keeps a tone in the background going. It's very, very cool, right? Just a constant tone oh, changes up slightly. And the other one, the other flute player lays the flute on top of this in the background going, right? So there's two tones playing is very cool. Very good. It's 5 a.m. here. I need coffee now. Martin, you should go to sleep. <laughs> I used to have these frustration dreams where glass would slide off of a seemingly level table. Then I would catch it and put it back on the table, and then it would start sliding off again, repeating over and over and over. Oh, that's not good. Have you ever done an, any entries of psychedelic stream? Yeah, we have, Coolio. We did three of them. Uh, and the videos are up on BitChute. Okay, they're the top. Actually, I think they're the top three videos on BitChute. <laughs> that most watched videos on my channel on BitChute. <laughs> right? Definitely, we suggest a Mort Garrison's album Platasia. Very early electronic music. Uh, Ross Col Colts is another one too. Was recorded solely to stimulate planet growth. Nice. Oh, Fascar, please po uh, post this in our music folder on Discord. Mort Garrison's Planetasia. Nice. It's like polar opposites to me. Music is about being alive and waking up, M being moved or made emotional. Sleep is about turning everything off. oh wow but i totally disagree sleep is not about turning everything off sometimes you go to sleep to turn things on your inhibitions the noise disappears and the mind just goes into overdrive i totally disagree it's not sleep is not about turning off not for me it has a cult following it was finally reissued last year nice tomita the planets is my favorite of his rest in peace rest in peace one of the greatest composers in human history tomita okay it, everything he put out was absolutely amazing cosmos was my first exposure to tomita and then after that everything for your information that youtube channel for his name back name back all is good oh awesome martin good good got his name back good good just drove by a homeless guy sitting by the biggest oh, bonfire allowed by law nice gotta stay warm in the winter i bought that pressing it's exquisite ah the striper one i'll actually go make a discord right now nice fast cars certainly a very unique record and i disagree with the music bit you give me any good uh mood activity and i'll find you music that will fit that mood activity perfectly yeah and I agree with Coolio. Music is just being alive is about being alive. Dreaming is about being alive. Music can fit everything, right? So I caught up with Jat. Nice. Let me read you guys. Check out Jesu. Can I go now? I go. <laughs> Good place to start, <laughs> Mr. Miyakazi. Jesu. So let me read you this comment that was posted by Coolio. And this is what gave birth to this live stream that we really haven't discussed too much about, right? But I'm going to read you that, and I'm going to read you just some of the stuff that I posted here. I'll read the first part, just what I have written here saying, do this first, right? There's four points I have here. So this live stream, basically, we said it was about life planning and taking care taking calculated risks right i added the personal finance economics and more part of it because that's what the question was really leading me anyway uh towards thinking about right so this was the request recommendation for a live stream that coolio posted uh and quote hey chicho uh so is it possible we could do a weekend stream on life planning and taking calculated risks I only ask because I've been contemplating moving for a while now. I've lived in the same state all my life in the US and I am so ready for a change, but I really want to move out of country. 
So the less drastic, uh, on the less drastic end, I could move to Canada, which is close by my home state. On the drastic end, I'm thinking somewhere overseas in Europe, Asia, or South America. I'm just so mixed up, and with and want to do. Uh, I'm so I'm so I'm just so mixed up with what to do and whether or not I should take the leap now while I'm young. So stream theme around life planning, calculated risk risks could help a lot of people with a lot of issues, I think. Okay. So I read that, I said uh, my reply was uh, done deal. All <laughs> right. We'll do it. Okay. And what I did is after we set the stream I a couple of days ago I went for a walk, a couple hour walk and listen to music, right? I was listening to uh, uh I went to listening to Philly uh, uh Philly hip hop right now, southern hip hop, which is very dark because I've never I can't believe I haven't delved into that world outside of South Park, Mexican and some other stuff. Uh, but it was it was fantastic right i hope the stream turns out well so far so good coolio i feel like a student whose report is being read in front no nah, coolio no we're just sharing information right my brother left the uk in 2011 with 300 pounds since then he lived in barcelona portland and now lives in kiev in ukraine nice in my opinion adventure is the spice of life indeed it could be anyway but here's here's four things that I wrote down initially that really well not initially I sort of went through filter I, I typed this out so I was taking notes while I was walking or I paused note but trying to sort it on I sort of broke it into these two groups right so my first thing would be this right and I called this do this first okay so if you're thinking about moving here's four points you should consider right there's probably more than this these are four that i came to me okay one visiting being a tourist is very different than living in a place right over an extended period of time so keep that in mind some people go traveling as a tourist and they go this would be a great place to live and they don't know anything about that place other than their tourist interaction right so one keep that in mind two do not leave any debt that needs to be serviced behind right if you're moving somewhere make sure you don't have to make monthly payments or any other type of payments wherever you're leaving from okay that can be extremely burdensome okay number three reduce your expenses okay because moving anywhere is extremely expensive and no matter how well you've planned things out things might not and probably will not work out the way you want them to work out so the funds might not be coming in so reduce your expenses extremely important right build up a little buffer number four there's a huge difference between living with friends or family until you get on your feet and having to find your own way have a backup plan okay or fallback plan so keep that in mind if you're moving someplace with friends and family until you know you're going for a job for two weeks until you get a job and for another couple of weeks two or three weeks until you find a place you got some money so you're gonna spend a month a couple of months for friends and family until you get back on your feet totally different than going somewhere blind or not even blind even if you made plans having a place to stay having to pay rent not knowing anyone okay that's four things before we get into the rest of it the reason okay this is what i wrote down for the re i called it the reason because you have to ask yourself why do you want to move but my number one was this and we'll read this after i catch up with the chat but i'm just going to read you number one because it builds up from the previous stuff number one before you continue did you do one to four above okay because maybe you really didn't want to move you just needed to take care of business or wanted to run away from something okay so once you take care of the four things that we talked about right 
really realizing that visiting somewhere if you're a tourist somewhere is different than living somewhere uh, not leaving any debt that you need to service okay reducing your expenses right and realizing you know if you're going to be moving you may not have backup right once you do that then you can start thinking about some of the logistics of it which we'll get to i'm just going to chat read some of the comments because there might have been some more better advice than what i have here posted right chicho alagulon how are you doing he should explore he should explore Zare, how are you doing hey chicho i was hoping you'd be in tonight but didn't get a notification good thing i checked ah oh, yeah the notifications sometimes are not going out right it's too bad it's too bad i hope twitch is not playing the same scams as youtube right every day you don't do what you want is another wasted day yeah moving off couch uh, laugh a lot. i have a cousin i have a cousin that left brazil with all her credit cards maxed out with no intention of returning to that country which is a you know I, I wouldn't advise it because it's not a bad idea to have credit cards if you're moving somewhere you know it gives you a little bit of credit just in case you need it but it is something that can be uh, uh, lived with right expensive and exhausting yeah welcome we have had trolls actively yeah Zarin, there's been some trolls. Even I timed out someone that is doing what you want, though. Literally, if you want to do it, you would. Yeah, despite my impatience, I'm trying to give myself a 16 month deadline to go. Hopefully, that will give me enough time to save up and plan. That's what Coolio said, who asked for the stream. I lived in Minneapolis, Phoenix, the Bahamas, San Diego, Seattle, Denver. She chose right. Take care of all your debts and uh, mend all bridges. 100%. 100%. Well, hello there. Connor, how are you doing? All right. Discord is made. Nice. Wow. Already great advice. I'm definitely going to review the vod after this and take plenty of notes awesome fear keeps people in their current situation yeah i am thinking about leaving uk but don't know where and i mentioned this let's go through this now how do you move to another country um there's a fair bit to take into consideration if you're moving there you should go through the channels right if you're moving there permanently you want to live there legitimately have a life there you need to go through the channels right unless you're escaping war and whatever and if you're escaping war get out right now here's the rest of the things i wrote down there's 12 bits of stuff there's some overlap some additional things i wrote down after i printed it off right so let me read you these things as well okay i do imagine these companies like equifast that work uh, with credit information and stuff like clearing share shit cross borders yeah like just to let you know about equal facts right <coughs> this year um i had a school independent school contact me and they wanted to feed me some of their students right and you know they said they have to you know fill out all the stuff they needed to fill out so i went through their website the thing that they sent me to fill out so i filled out all that information and at the end when i clicked thing because they have to do a credit check when you're working with kids you know you have to do a credit check make sure you do you know criminal activity and i don't i'm clean right and they had a little tick mark saying you approve that equal fax will run a credit check on you with all your information being sent there i deleted everything i contacted the, the management there and i said listen i filled out all your forms but i'm not okay with forwarding everything that i filled out through you guys through equal fax for them to do a credit check to give you a thing I have a clean record uh, I'm pretty sure there's another way of going through that going about this if there isn't thank you for thinking about me but I'm not interested right everybody is not in that type of position right uh, I'm glad they said no don't worry about it we'll take care of it from our end it's okay and I said okay fantastic and I do work with them and it's fantastic really I'm glad that didn't stop us 
from working together. Um, okay, I just want to drop that regarding Equifax. Disgusting companies, though. Yeah, what's up? Uh, slapper, bum, you beat me. My sister's moving to Australia. She's so happy about it. Nice. I do love the U.S. Chicago and Boston equally, especially Boston. Uh, Chicago is a beautiful city. Yeah, and what's funny is that they recently got hacked or something. Yeah, a couple of years ago, like. Huge. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. I saw that. Yeah, U.S. is annoying with their tax laws. Um, they have a citizenship-based tax system, unlike most places that have geographic-based tax system. There are tax waivers you can get if you are making mostly foreign income, but you still have to file your taxes as a U.S. citizen no matter where you live. Uh, Coolio, yes. I know people in the U.S. here that they have to file taxes every year. I had one client in the past, right, that was an American citizen and then they found out that if they passed away right and they were married to a Canadian have Canadian kids and if they passed away because their husband you know their partner wasn't an American citizen the US government would get half the house or something so they they gave up their American citizenship right and they said it was really hard to give up their American citizenship but they weren't willing to put up with that okay so the tax system in the US is pretty hardcore Leaked data for something like 150 million people. Yeah, well, but U.S. gun laws could use some work, though. Hard to cancel Equifax once they sign sign you up. Yeah, you wouldn't. Want, I, 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 I don't know. I, I stay away from that stuff as much as possible. Do you believe in modern monetary theory? Oh, Alan Gulen. Um, let's deal with that another time, if possible. Okay. Modern monetary theory is just uh, are fine. We've done a fair bit of economic stuff. It's pretty chaotic, right? And we deal with a little bit. There's a little bit of notes here I have regarding that. Okay, let me have a sip of tea. <clears throat> I'm gonna have an apple, energize myself a little bit with a little bit of peanut butter. Right. Apple and peanut butter. Thank you, Alan. Drinking a cold one, eh, Chicho? Tea, tea. I'm a teaaholic. I had an apple after work to try and heal my muscle pain. <laughs> yeah, that's the part that worries me. I'm sure there. This is a far down the road thing to think about but once you renounce it's not impossible to regain it yeah i was assuming they would say get lost right despite my complaints about the u.s having their citizenship does have its pros and its cons yeah coolio i personally if you were born there it's got to be pretty drastic for you to give it up man right that's my take you got roots there man and who knows what's going to happen in the future that and ginger ale ginger ale i bought cinnamon tea horrible idea i have thirty-seven thousand pounds in the bank when i got when i get fifty thousand i'm moving martin awesome that's a plan right build yourself a nice buffer before you move okay just today i heard eating apples before you go to sleep gives you very lucid dreams does it cool i've been eating a lot of apples apple a day keeps insurance away <laughs> where i come from it's common for older gentlemen to drink iced tea which is really uh just whiskey ah is that what it is that's cool my hope is coolio says if i wind up wanting to live in another country long term i go for dual citizenship over renouncing don't worry okay awesome apple seed is toxic yeah mr it's got arsenic but i still eat some because the amount of arsenic it has i think you have to eat like five cups worth of apple seeds to kill yourself so a little bit of poison is not bad let me read you guys a little bit more these 12 things that i wrote down okay 
So consider the four points that we mentioned. Okay. Here's some more things that you may need to consider. Okay. Or you should think about. Now, number one, before you continue, did you do one to four above? Because maybe you really didn't want to move. You just needed to take care of business or wanted to run away from something, right? I've met people where they're having hard times in their lives. There's a lot of pressure on them and stuff like this. And their first reaction is to get out of town, run away from their problems. Once people take care of the four things that we mentioned, right? Realizing that visiting somewhere is different than moving some, somewhere, that you need to make sure you take care of your debts, nothing that you need to service, that you should reduce your expenses, right? And that if you're moving somewhere, are you going to be moving in with friends and family or are you going solo, right? So after you've considered all those, number one is that think about those really in depth Two, so why do you want to move ask yourself really and this is very personal why do you want to move somewhere okay number three where do you want to move to okay extremely important and there's some points i wrote down here right think about the language that's being used there if it's not your language are you willing to learn their language right what about your rights do you have the same rights as you did from where you're coming from or do you have more rights or do you have to give up a certain amount of rights right that's really important because if you were living a certain lifestyle you may have to stop doing some of the things you were doing because you don't have the right to do that right so know the laws of the country especially the stuff you care about right and when you're moving really consider this right and what we just mentioned language rights law and laws changes from state to state as well right in the united states especially but really appreciate that moving somewhere domestically is different than moving somewhere internationally right internationally implies a lot a lot more you got to take care of right number four is this a long-term move more than a year or a short-term move less than a year i just picked a year arbitrary right you could make it six months if you want so are you moving there long term do you plan on setting down roots there or are you just going there short term are you transient okay number five are you moving by yourself friends girlfriend family for business to retire for health right for school okay the health one is pretty important i know some people that have needed to move to different parts of the world because because healthcare expenses were too much in their own country so they're moving because of medical reasons right all of these mean you need to take care of certain things okay number six what are you taking with you okay number seven are you moving there in whole financially and physically or is this just a physical change of location with your savings with your net worth remaining in your country of origin right so if you're moving somewhere let's say long term but you have all your bank accounts in the other country if you have land in the other country if you have obligations that you're paying debt to in, in the other country right your country of origin you're not really moving there you're there temporarily until you take care of that business right and once you start setting up roots to wherever you've moved to you're gonna have to let go of some of those things so really think about that right are your finances coming with you okay on that note number eight think about the currency of the country you're moving to really really important okay are you moving up in i don't know i don't know what the right word to use this right are you moving up in lifestyle 
or down in lifestyle if you want to call it and lifestyle could be lifestyle is not the right word right it money money is not the right word right are you moving to a first world country second world third that's not a right move right thing the best best way you can think about this is wherever you're moving to are you going to be making enough money that if the need arises for you to be able to afford to move back to your original country right so if you're moving from a country where the average salary is fifty thousand dollars a year to a country or your salary is fifty thousand dollars a year to a country where the equivalent that they're paying you is ten thousand dollars a year if you convert it to the currency where you were making fifty thousand dollars if you live in that country for an extended period of time financially it's going to be difficult for you to move back to a country that has a higher expensive living standard right really consider that currencies are important okay and i have the note here can you afford to come back at a future date and what financial situation will you be in right and i have written down taxes here really important something that coolio brought up right taxes are ridiculously important figure out how that's going to play out if you're moving somewhere because of business right let's assume you're making fifty thousand dollars a year in your country of origin you move somewhere they're giving you seventy thousand dollars a year right you're like yay that's great a couple of things you have to look into first of all how expensive is is it to live there if you were paying rent for a thousand a thousand dollars a month making fifty thousand dollars right and now you're gonna pay two thousand dollars a month making seventy thousand dollars you're not seventy thousand dollars not compensating you right if you're moving to a country where the tax rate is fifty percent and the country you're coming from the tax rate is thirty percent you're not getting a pay hike right there might be you know there might be healthcare benefits involved in there there might be other benefits there might be free education there might be a lot of other things so you have to take all that into consideration right really look into the finances some people make the wrong decision and this isn't just internationally this is locally as well right this has happened with people within a certain region even just british columbia right i've known people that sell a house in vancouver right and move into a suburb somewhere right to a smaller town that's away from vancouver right for like five years meanwhile in that five years the house prices have gone up mad in vancouver or any other city right and these people can't afford to move back because their house that they bought hasn't gone up as much even if it went up the same amount percent value wise it hasn't gone up the same so now they're out of the game right which is one thing about our current economic system people are scared to step out of the game because they think the train is going to leave the station without them right so they're really scared of not being in the market and i've seen that happen with developers right where they buy land to develop a house and then they say oh land prices are too high so they don't buy land for a few months and land prices continue to go up and now they have to buy at a higher value to build a house or or whatever they're building to be able to make revenue right to be able to make a living right so there are people who are afraid to leave the market right really think about the economics of it number nine is have you thought about the cost of living which is sort of me going off linking everything up everything's linked up here right number 10 the lifestyle changes right the same thing and i call this one first second third world industrial or technological or country right so are you moving to a place like we have high speed internet here right if i end up moving somewhere the first thing for me right like i know this because i do a lot of work online and this has been my um, my case for a number of years right i won't move anywhere where i can't get high speed internet right so that limits the number of places i could go to more than anyone that doesn't care about that 
They might care about other things that might limit them, right? So really think about what level of lifestyle you're willing to live, right? Are you going to have flushing toilets, hot water whenever you want, electricity anytime you want, right? Grocery stores, clean water. Like clean water is huge, right? Huge, 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 huge. Okay. Really think about those things. Okay. Number 11, I said commitments with this move. Are you making promises? Of, you know, for example, I've known couples that move together, right? So if you move with someone else somewhere, then you guys are bound together until at least one of you guys can get on your feet. Preferably both of you guys can get on your feet. If you move somewhere, right? And all of a sudden you change your mind and then within a month saying, oh, I don't want to be here. And you move there with a partner and your partner sacrificed a lot to move with you. And they can't afford to live where they're living without you, without your revenue coming in as well. Then you pretty much screwed over your partner. So really think about the commitments, uh, the obligations you're getting into, into doing that move, right? Number 12, I just put it down at the last, you know, what's the job market there? Do you already have a job lined up? Are you going to be downgrading your job? Are you upgrading your job, right? Think about jobs. Think about friends. Think about entertainment. Think about social activity. Think about the food, right? You move somewhere where you're used to eating organic food and you can't get organic food, you're screwed. Moving somewhere where you're used to eating Kentucky Fried Chicken or some crap like that and they don't have that stuff, I don't recommend you eating it, but if that's what you like, then what are you going to do, right? Can you eat spicy food? If you go to, for example, if you go to Korea, they eat spicy food, right? I love Korean food, right? But it's spicy as mad, right? <laughs> Can you handle that type of food, right? So you have to really think about those things. And those are the you know points I came up with. Uh, it was a nice walk, you know, wrote down the stuff and I typed the stuff up, uh, sort of sorted it and whatnot. Okay. I'm just going to read some of the comments uh, just to see if there's any, uh, pretty sure there's probably some recommendations of comments that uh, should be included in this list as well. I'm just going to pop another apple with peanut butter. Yeah, Coolio. Sometimes I eat the whole apple core as well. Without apples, no gravity. It's still fascinating that people born in the U.S. fail to realize that they were gifted their citizenship while at the same time they're critical of people. Thank you very much for the cheers, uh, Leon. Leon Noid. Um were gifted their citizenship while at the same time they're critical of people coming here trying to actually earn their citizenship yeah birth tourism too right that's insane you have serious chompers <laughs> really no apple core is not that bad it's the digesting part is harder the, the pulp on it right free medical care i would miss but i never get ill yeah but Martin, we all age. I just, I've never been had the flu for like six, six weeks. I'm like what? U.S. doesn't have this medical care. I would plan for that if I chose the U.S. I have a sponsor I can use in USA and Australia, but it's, it's too hot in Oz. I don't know, it's on fire. Coolio, the currency thing is actually a, benefit in most cases when moving out of the u.s the u.s dollar has a lot of strength in a lot of countries it does but are you going to be paid in u.s funds all right so coolio if you're going to go to another country all right you're going to be paid in their currency right now you're going to be paid in their currency what if their currency is losing value relative to the u.s dollar right so let's assume they were at par 
when you moved, right? Dollar per dollar or currency per currency. US dollar equivalent to one dollar or one whatever here, right? And over and you're getting paid the same amount, let's say 50 grand, 50 grand. Over time, let's assume this currency loses 40% of its value. And it's not out of the question. Canadian dollar lost 40% of its value relative to the US dollar in the when was it late 2000s early 2010s i believe or around that period in the last 20 years right over and over a three three year time span three to four year time span the canadian dollar lost 40 percent of its value relative to the u.s dollar and vice versa u.s dollar lost a lot of its value before that relative to the canadian dollar right 40 percent drop in u.s dollar right so it would have been amazing if you were making canadian dollars during that time and then move to the u.s and start making u.s dollars in that time right so you have to take that into consideration as well what are you getting paid in right moving to the u.s i would drop in salary and you don't have to move here uh, move to the u.s permanently martin right yeah that's right right utilities and cost of living cost of living is huge thinking real deep and hard run dp you must have a backup plan to return back home yeah and that came up in i think the earlier points we did right you gotta have a backup plan me too man would be cool if this episode inspired some others to move to if that's good for them yeah Puto. are you swearing here right man hey by the way my friend Casey Anthony is watching right now and today is the birthday would you wish her a happy ASMR birthday Casey <laughs> Leon Noid uh, Happy ASMR birthday. Is that legit? Happy ASMR birthday, Casey. <laughs> Casey is watching. Casey, happy ASMR birthday. I don't think I said anything bad. One of the reasons, Lee, uh, Leon, I'm hesitant is because people come here and say, can you please say my name? And the name is, I'm slow on the on figuring out what acronyms are stop so <laughs> i read things that are not we're not supposed to say on twitch but happy birthday casey all right happy birthday casey i spent a okay al matihano can i time out al matihano Time out. <laughs> I got. I'm getting all excited with this timeout stuff. I spent a good portion of my day uh, taking walks and thinking. It's about all I do. I can't even watch a movie without doing it. It's the biggest part of my life. Yeah, walking is huge, huge for me as well, man. What if you have an online job like YouTuber, Twitch streamer, indie game developer? Uh, the only thing, as far as I'm concerned, there's, I've thought about this, right? Because I want to take it up to a level where I'm doing many things online. And I do many things online. I'm live streaming YouTube. I have clients online. I have students online and stuff like this, right? So for me, the most important thing would be high-speed internet, right? Uh, healthcare good food clean water clean air nature like those are the things that i care about right a nice food supply where i can get non big agro food right and those things are limiting my access to different places not that i want to move anywhere right so you have to think about different things depending on what your lifestyle is what your criteria is right coolio i was more thinking of my savings will have more worth since it is in u.s currency as far as 
<coughs> as far as making money once i get there though yes the currency thing you went over extremely important and i got to take this into account you do it's huge actually being clever is no weakness keep it up blumen 16. i do that a lot too but don't get too caught up in all planning there needs to be time to take action too yeah for sure coolio and by the way coolio there's nothing wrong with um going there temporarily take a leave of absence go there for a month test out the place see if you want to live there right moving somewhere is expensive so if you think it's going to be expensive just to go there for a month and check it out then you're not ready to do the move anyway right casey anthony the woman who killed her oh is that what it is fast card dang i said something from now on man no reading people's names is that what it is I guess that's a sort of a legit troll. The guy did a legit troll on Chicho. Honestly, that's what I was thinking too. Ch -ch. Sorry if I missed something. Was moving up to my room. No, it's okay, fast car. Storm Dennis is shaking my window. I was making a cup of tea. Storm Dennis is shaking my window. <laughs> what Storm Dennis Martin? <laughs> hmm lacking the internet a little in south dakota but have the rest cool beans how you doing hopefully the internet will get there soon enough right happy enyak day on this day in 1946 enyak unveiled as the first general purpose computer did it 1946 E N I A C, really awesome. A legendary in the history of technology is this fast car. I didn't know about this. It would be huge. Successful troll, successful troll, and skin in the game. He he made a fifty bit contribution, right? He did a fifty cent trolling job. Good enough, right? That's a successful troll. And it was very benign and far off it wasn't picked up like this that's cool i'm okay with that i have a friend from college who i'm calling at some point soon who moved to australia a year ago and she's going to live and give me some tips as well awesome coolio looks like you're doing the right stuff brother big storm in uk at the moment oh big storm in the uk at the moment high winds and lots of rain nice I, you know what i love the lightning if you get lightning thunder is it really a troll if they pay pay you for it ha <laughs> ha coolio yeah i like seriously the, it's just weakness that i really don't like and the weak trolls are just like man it it sort of goes to show how bad our education system is right so that's the thing by the way gang if i'm missing stuff thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh i try to keep my eye on the chat and read up the chat and and do things but thank you very much for the support maybe it wasn't a troll i could be wrong but that's what instantly came to my head <laughs> the funny thing is Vascar, how'd you know that person's name well i'm bad with names you guys know that so if i were to think with my stomach i'd probably move to japan so maybe ramen shops mm. takoyaki nice ramen mm. tokyo 35 million people in one city yeah it, from what i understand in japan the suburbs of japan are being depopulated because population of japan is decreasing so they're more open to foreigners coming in right so i'm guessing that there's a lot of if there if you can do it if you really want to move somewhere right and it's a first world country if you want to think about it that way it's got high speed internet good food um proximity may be a little worrisome and stuff like this it is an island it is expensive but 
if you can manage it and if you want to go live somewhere for an extended period of time in the suburbs in nature i've heard there's a lot of houses and stuff that are fairly cheap right i don't know what the internet is like there but i love the thunder that makes the house shake a bit yeah it was a major news story in the u.s when it happened did it i was i was only 11 at the time but I very clearly remember it being the main news story for days on end. Really, wow, wow, wow. I love the advice so much, though. You expanded on some points I was thinking about and brought up some stuff I didn't think about yet. Is it all right if we get into the personal reasons to move a little bit more? For sure, Coolio. I want to make sure I'm going, uh, doing this uh, for the right reasons, which is the most important thing you should be asking yourself. For sure, Coolio. If only I could learn the language. My, my memory is horrible, but my memory is horrible. Yeah, language, you have to live a place. You have to live in a place to, to learn the language. For me, anyway, Japan sounds interesting. Yeah, I've known people. I, I actually have friends that live in Japan. They've been, I have one friend that he moved there like, like 15, 18 years ago. 18 18 years ago no 15 years ago 15 years ago he moved there got a job there married a japanese girl there has kids there and will not come back all right he loves it there i'm used to living on an island yeah uk crime is also very low in japan and most people have great manners yeah it is a safe country to move to very safe and the people are amazing it is a little bit xenophobia for sure right it's a very homogenous culture but it's opening up now because they're having uh, the age of the population the, there's way too many elderly not enough young people so the tax burden i'm assuming is going to become a lot more economy wise is centralized is totally controlled uh crime like if you consume cannabis do not move to japan they're their laws are extremely harsh if you like doing graffiti do not move to japan their laws against graffiti are extremely harsh like first time being caught doing graffiti i think you serve at least a year in jail or five years in jail right away jail right so look at look into the laws look into the laws moving is not a big deal what is a big deal is dealing with paperwork and time restricted visas japan is beautiful but particularly difficult to stay extended periods uh, i have a couple of friends that have lived there for an extended you know long time now right i don't know i don't think you can ever get a citizenship right but you can marry have kids have a job and all that jazz from what i understand anyway from their experience and i'm in the martial arts wing chu to chinese i was researching japan for the last 60 days or so cool i'm actually starting to learn japanese now but the method i'm using if it works i hope to use use it to learn multiple languages other languages fascinate me and i actually think that part of the process is an exciting part of moving to a new place learning to communicate with that place's people 100 percent for sure coolio work culture in japan is on a whole nother level yeah whole nother level and it's a country of functioning alcoholics right the business sector anyway right you do not want to go to japanese jail you don't want to go to any jail well scandinavian jails i've heard they're really nice tom marlowe same friend yeah the work culture in japan is the main reason i'm probably uh leaning away from japan long term would still love to visit someday you could also have your own business in japan right so you could dictate your own hours but it is expensive there as well i'm learning urbu at the moment but japanese next wow martin jeez urdu urdu is uh india no urdu i'm pretty sure it's uh one of the dialects in india no a philosopher i think wittenstein said that language can make you think in different ways 100 i can understand that 
but not something I have experienced. For sure, language thinks you. Uh, oh, Ur Urdu, yeah, Urdu, Indian, yeah. Uh, for sure, language, different, different things are clicking in the brain in the central nervous system. Right. To keep it short, Japan is beautiful, but not that open to foreigners, even white. From what I, I have heard. Please, anyone correct me on this. Um, that's been the way uh, Jupiter, with Jupiter in mind, that's been the way forever, right? But because of the demographics, the elderly are getting much older. There isn't enough young people. Communities are dying down or dying out. Small towns are dying out. So people are becoming more open to foreigners moving to Japan. And this is sort of a new phenomenon. Urdu is Pakistan. Urdu is Pakistan or India? How hard is it to move to one of the Nordic countries? Expensive. Their economies, social programs, and many other things like quality of life are stellar. A tax rate is like 70%. Tax rate is huge, right? And from what I understand, all Scandinavian countries, Nordic countries are not the same. Sweden is having major problems from what we understand, right? And some people are moving out of Sweden to other, some of the other Nordic countries. So you really have to look into it, right? I'm a big Bollywood fan. Ah, Martin, <laughs> Bollywood fan. <laughs> Use in India too, cool. All right, I gotta get some sleep. Have a good night, Chicho and Chat. You too, fast car, sweet dreams. And thank you for popping in, all right? I think it was a good stream so far. We talked about some uh, some key stuff, and this is important. Economics. Once you once people manage your once you you're able to manage your economics, you're buying yourself freedom, right? Spectral shot. Monka S, here they come. I don't know what this Monka S is. I don't know what it refers to. 6 a.m. here, been up for 18 hours off Sunday. Now, nice, Martin. I hope you winding down to get some sleep, no? Sometimes I feel like hopping on a plane uh, and move. But other times I don't really want know if it would be the solution. Indecision kills. Indecision kills. And there's nothing wrong just going on a vacation and just don't do the tourist thing. Just go rent a place, an apartment for a month and live in a community just to see what it's like. All right. Got to get better TTV for your Twitch so you can see the BTTV emotes like Monkas. Oh, is that what it is? I can sleep on command. Ah, oh, nice, Martin. Me too. But usually it's shorter sleeps, right? I took a crash course in Twitch over past few years. My guess is an older emote that got taken out. Is that what it is? We don't know. I don't know what it looks like. That got taken out. They actually kill emotes why mm -hmm. me too martin um anywhere between three to six hours now more than ever you get furnished places rooms all size and prices great resources to take advantage of some people want to move but never adapt to new way of life yeah and that is huge all right it's our age <laughs> maybe <laughs> and and the lifestyles we've lived right and the lifestyles we've lived at some point it just went into that cycle tree climber from rhode island here hello tree climber headpiece how are you doing welcome to a stream 
And we're just talking about life choices and decisions, which is a good thing. All right. Nice and chill. By the way, tomorrow we're going to talk about the environment. 8 p.m. again. Okay. Eight. Sorry, 8.30 p.m. my time again. Okay. We haven't done an environment live stream. I thought we'd do one. I feel like I want to do this for a mixture of good reasons and not so good reasons. The good reasons are things like experience a new culture, making new friends, learning how to be self-sufficient in a new environment. Good. Those are always good reasons, right? Experience a culture, learning a new language and the food, the food. Oh, and food is part of culture, I guess. And music and the way people interact right some places the thing to do is go do barbecues on the weekends some places the thing to do is to go to a lake on the weekends some places the thing to do is just shut your door and play games on the weekends food is huge for me on that on that level food water I appreciate a channel that does not stop conversation to thank followers and subs I actually did that a little bit on this stream like about half an hour ago I said apologies about if I miss them thank you for support right why not just a new city in the u.s then coolio and u.s and canada each area like i've lived in vancouver calgary montreal toronto right and victoria so i've lived in victoria vancouver toronto montreal calgary and now that I live in Edmonton, I didn't really live in Edmonton. I was working in Edmonton. So those are, you know, five of the bigger cities in Canada, like four of the big cities in Canada I've lived in. Each city was different. Lifestyle was different. Uh, they all had pluses. They all had minuses. Right? Uh, so you can experience that other culture within Canada, United States, just within, just staying within the country, right? And the Maritimes, amazing. I spent, you know, a month, month and a bit in Maritimes as well, uh, but only during the summer, too cold in the winter. And amazing, right? So within the country is not a bad idea. And the U.S. is so diverse from region to region, so diverse. Oh my God, so different, so different, more so than Canada. U.S. diversity is way different than canada right way more than canada i have always been attracted to denmark as well denmark i man when i was in europe i couldn't go to the scandinavian countries they were too expensive i couldn't afford to go there all right so i skipped them wish i did now i wish i went into debt and go check that out but you can you can only afford to do what you can right the not so good reason or slightly more selfish reason i don't like the direction the u.s is headed i feel disconnected from the western way of thinking on certain things and feel like part of me is running away from some people and problems too is that a not a good reason i don't i wouldn't put that classified that coolio as not a good reason i would say that is a reason right if you don't like a direction your country is going in going in and if it's going in that direction it's gonna and it's well on its way in that direction it's gonna take a long time for it to change as well right if you don't like the direction it's going are you willing to commit 20 years of your life to see it come back to where it was where you were semi okay with it basically are you willing to live your life to change the system or do you just want to live your life right sometimes when revolutions happen man you need to leave right some people get involved in the revolution and that could be fine for them but 
if a revolution is happening in your country and your heart's not in it then it's not a bad idea to find safer ground when you see a storm coming you bunker down right when you see the floods coming you might want to move up to higher territory it really depends right one of my definitions of wealth is being able to walk at night or day without feeling unsafe that is that is huge food too yeah jupiter 100 percent agree right what is the worst injury you have ever sustained headpiece headpiece how are you doing why do you ask worst injury i buried family members siblings that is devastating that is a hard 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 i put out a video on it do a do a search for chicho some advice advice to those who have lost loved ones right very few things come close to that if at all right i wouldn't want to live somewhere with common problems with tsunamis earthquakes active volcanoes yeah i personally wouldn't either and even within canada like this is one thing i tell people there's been a housing bubble and people buying things without even checking into them and stuff and i did 10 years of environmental work in the 90s right Ge environmental geophysics i've done 20 years our family was involved 30 years if not longer in the construction industry right before buying any property before moving anywhere do a little historical analysis of that area look at the floodplains right look to see if there was maybe industry there in the past that has contaminated the groundwater before you move anywhere on a permanent basis look into the environmental aspect of it very very important people don't do this right people don't we had in bc developer build million dollar houses on an area which was had cavens happening so a whole bunch of families went and bought these million plus dollar houses in an area and the city approved the plans right but they said build at your own risk they built it sold this the stuff and then the city the cavens started happening more so they the whole the city the count the district uh restricted the whole area they they said everybody has to move right they condemned the whole area with all these million dollar houses so there were people living in their houses and the city saying they cut off their power they cut off the electricity everything's cut off right you guys have to move there's cabins happening right these people are like are you guys crazy we put our life savings into this house and the city approved it we thought it was a safe house to buy how could the city approve this house that this developer has built on an area that's condemned and you guys sell it to the general public do your research do your research right buyer beware usa off the table then <laughs> I'm not ruling that out, but I tend to be happiest jumping into big uh, change head first. That's cool, cool, yo. Though I've seen lots of you, lots of the US, and there's only a handful of states I'd really want to live in, and even less I could afford to probably, okay? Manka S first appeared on Fortune. I gotta check out this emote. Or meme is a meme or a meme what up what up perv pervy sage what up you here to play nice i hope <laughs> i'm always <laughs> scared of pervy sounding names i didn't want the i didn't want the uk to leave europe now i want out of this country do you martin i'm i was pro brexit man I don't like the EU and I don't UK hasn't left Europe they left the from my perspective they left the centralized control of the EU all right but I, I don't have skin in the game man all right I'm cheer you know doing my thing and you know I don't I don't have anything in the game so if it's not working for you you get out all right have you thought about Ireland 
it wouldn't be too big of a change from UK, would it? Would it not? And it'd be awesome for Martin up his alley regarding work. I guess. Again, I could be way off. You'd know better. Chicho, old videos are great to view. Chicho's old videos are great to view. <laughs> nice. I hope the new ones are okay too. <laughs> I got to check out some of his bit shoot stuff. I didn't even know about bit shoot until I found Chicho's channel. Nice, Coolio. Yeah, I'm loading more stuff on BitChute. All right. YouTube censors. And I found out today, someone mentioned that one of the reasons I've been getting a lot less views on my channel, well, two, it's twofold because I was loading on some political stuff that YouTube doesn't like, especially WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. And they demonetize those. They, they don't send notifications. The view counts, they don't get recommended. Uh, the coronavirus stuff they don't like right and i also found out that they've done exactly what they did with news people sharing news independent news they did it with education channels as well so they're only promoting uh centralized education channels now right or the big education channels like khan academy and these ones so my education stuff is not making it as recommendations to youtube viewers now right that's one of the reasons the, the view the hits have gone down right so kiss independent decentralized education goodbye off youtube because all those channels are not being promoted anymore for those who learn mathematics using my videos i'm glad they did right it's too bad more people on youtube won't get access to them right but they're there they'll be on there on 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 the internet unless youtube decides to take them down which they might at some point right so youtube is slowly dying yes i thought of that i have been to dublin a few times dublin i like dublin what an alcohol raging city ireland so much drinking going on my god best of europe in general so much czech republic so much drinking going on best of luck in whatever you decide maybe our world traveling paths will cross one day were you at my friend i meant if you are doing it for the change to coolio it doesn't seem logical to have to go out of country you can get all that mention just changing city i just did not see the puzzle piece of another country fitting into description of what you wanted Ch -ch -ch. lima headed to bed great discussion tonight good night everyone good night lima sorry hopefully i didn't catch this before you went to bed sweet dreams brother or sister All right because it would be a bit more uh, permanent but what you describe yeah Ch -ch -ch. J A and C V are forbidden. Yeah, Martin. Right? They're like it's crazy. And channels are being demoted of that. But we'll keep on putting it out. Right? I don't like censorship. Michigan USA at the moment. Michigan. I would say if you have this calling inside of you to move, just go. Don't hesitate. Don't ignore your feelings. Yeah. And the other thing you could do, Coolio, is just make sure you build a buffer. You need a little buffer, right? Get rid of furniture, right? Don't put it in storage. It's just going to be money pit, right? Get rid of your furniture unless you're really attached to stuff that's hand-me-down and stuff like this. And some people have those, right? I, I know I do, right? Get your buffer buffer done and then if you want to keep some stuff don't want to take it with you don't want to go through the cost of moving it with you just put it in storage for you know pay them six months ahead of time right six months or a year right if you know you're going to go away for a year move to a place see if you want to stay there and then decide to bring back bring stuff with you right i would say if you have this calling is out though just don't go i am still hoping for that diving follow-up video cliff dump yeah martin i was hoping to do man but it didn't work out it didn't work out i'll try to see if i can get it done this year i gotta find the cliff uh cliff jumping spot here 
I wonder how much it would cost to build a small castle. Where? Birmingham, UK here. Birmingham. You boob is scrubbing many things off now. Not a fan. Not a fan, Zoot. Not me either. Not me either. Not many people. Right? And there's a reason why Google stock is lagging behind Amazon and in growth, right? Unclutter. So YouTube is going the way of eBay to a certain degree. It's just a platform there doing its thing, right? Uncluttered room, uncluttered mind. Yeah. Sold all my furniture in 2013. Best decision I ever made. Not planned for it, but glad it happened. Cool. The things you own will end up owning you. Well said, Martin. And that's a quote. That I think that's many people have throughout history have mentioned that. And my comic books personally own me to a certain degree right now. <laughs> I remember cliff diving videos. The real question is, when is Chicho going to bring back the big beard? Aha, Coolio, it's after after i think this is going to go down after the summer fight club actually was it fight club no it's got to be before fight club it wouldn't be fight club it was uh brad pitt telling uh what's his name uh edward uh not edward uh yeah edward norton that was a great movie by the way i recall reading about some priest in europe slowly restoring a stone church and needed volunteers often they provide you boarding and meals yeah farms do that as well there's a thing you can move around from farm to farm do farm work and you know room and board paid for it but it's pretty hard work you can travel for pretty much free that way don't remember which country it was fight crop club reasonable for the awakening of many minds yeah or oh, responsible for the awakening of many minds yeah maybe it's the first time i heard of it was it martin cool the things you own will end up owning you who wrote fight club i can't remember who wrote fight club fight club we're almost coming in a couple of hours is physical labor but no more than four hours a day very doable very doable four hours a day yeah very doable and you get to meet people from that area and you're in a community chuck another pro pro or another country's food unlike the u.s most countries don't pack their food full of sugar and other chemicals for preserving yeah and i you know what the u.s has many places where you can eat good locally grown food uh on that note there's a lot of places that you don't have access to that food right it changes from region to region and the portion sizes are a lot more generous to your waistline yeah <laughs> are you childless uh no yeah i do not have a burden of trying to raise educate feed <laughs> another human being and i praise praise the luck every day for it back to food stream ending cycle complete i'm down to one apple i'm down to one apple <laughs> well if we end the, oops if we end on food then the debate should be which country has the best food which country personally i think the 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 most versatile the healthiest the the food that the variety is unbelievable and very healthy for you uh persian food I keep on banging this sorry about the mic but persian food persian food as far as i'm concerned is so diverse and amazing it's amazing 
most places outside the u.s also don't poison the water with fluoride yeah the fluoride thing is insane right cookie how first met coolio when he lived in a uh, lawndale california after cypress hill today he is neighbor of mine in las vegas is he is it really me too i don't want to wanna I think that's the lead singer of Cypress Hill. I believe so anyway. I might be wrong. All these names. I don't want to have one. But more because don't want to bring an innocent child to this cruel game we play. I don't. Uh, with Jupiter, uh, Jupiter in mind, I've heard that argument before. I've probably gone through, thought about it as well. It's not fair. Life is life. There like just imagine if people living through world war ii said i don't want to bring anyone to this cruel world life but then wars you see populations increase like it's, it's, it's a catalyst to people having babies life is not nature is brutal right life is brutal but i wouldn't say cruel it's it's not easy and it's not supposed to be easy it's life right if it was easy we'd be bored to death and everyone would be committing suicide right for me i'm too selfish i'll i'll say it straight out right it's not some grand design you know save the environment less footprint da, da, da. for me i'm too selfish i like doing what i'm doing i have no desire to be responsible for another human life uh, why right people are afraid oh when you get older who's gonna take care of you who's gonna take care of me god hopefully if i if i'm invalid and stuff like this the laws are in such a way that i can take care of business right? <laughs> don't even get me started i am not too far uh, from flint oh flint michigan you guys oh no we'll, i'll stay away from the politics Persian food, Kashara, new YouTube. I just want to raise my own clone. <laughs> Jedi say no. I don't want kids. Now I'm 25. I decided if I still don't want kids by age 40, I'm not having them. Yeah. 12, 15 years is a long time to go. And crucial period. Oh, every period is crucial period. Fair. Yeah. There's also some selfishness involved for sure, but I'm not guilt guilty by it. No, I'm not guilty. I don't feel guilty by it either. Hey, how does a uh, I'll stay away from the joke. Echo. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> My coolio. I've heard that joke before. That's funny. I'm 46, no kids here. Nice. Because. Well, you know. Oh. <sighs> Why can't a dinosaur clap? Because they're all dead. Funny. Let's call it a stream, gang. Let's call it a stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the conversations. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Florida is a main gradient in a Prozac. I do believe Nazi Germany was the first to add it to the water supply. Was it? I don't know. I know I when I go to the dentist, I tell them no fluoride, and I don't use fluoride toothpaste, and I don't drink fluorinated water. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Martin, if you can make it. Thanks. Super awesome. Real talk. We need more of this. We need more of this. Agreed, which is why I'm doing this. Thank you for the help, Chicho. My pleasure, Coolio. Thank you for the recommendation request. Is this video going to be uh, available? It will be, Coolio. On Twitch, you can watch it for a couple of weeks, and I'll download it, and I'll probably have it up. It'll probably take another week before I load it up to BitShooter YouTube, right? Uh, I have some other stuff I got to do. I have other streams that we haven't loaded on from like 10 days ago, right? So a week to two weeks, this video will be up on bit shoot on youtube and until then you can watch it on twitch okay instead of uh superficial go nowhere nowhere talk nice 
slow brain down yes slows brain down nice martin what's tomorrow chat tomorrow environment we haven't done one on the environment and i thought we'd do one on the environment all right and i did do 10 years of environmental work so i know a little bit about that and i studied environmental geophysics <laughs> geophysics environment or sciences so i just figured we'd talk about it all right sounds good i appreciate it a lot for real you've been my favorite channel lately awesome coolio public schooling also implemented for military purposes another rabbit hole yeah 100 percent and uh manufacturing right researcher john taylor gatto john taylor gatto is awesome as well as krishna morty right excellent i did environmental health nice awesome martin okay gang hope you guys have a fantastic evening and for our friends in the uk and europe fantastic morning for australia fantastic afternoon i don't know okay and new zealand of course bye everyone see you tomorrow if you can make it